What's up everyone? By the time you see this, it will be Saturday. I just did this full look of makeup on my Facebook page and now I'm going to wash it all off. So I'm going to show you my steps and what I do. I always use a by face makeup remover first. So I have a wet washcloth here. Um, it just makes it easier for me. You can use a cotton ball or a little, you know, whatever, but this is a pharmacy by face makeup remover and it's in a bundle for sale this month. Um, it's a kind of like a while supplies last type of bundle, but I love, love, love using this because even if you're, you know, if you're using a higher end skincare cleanser, it's obviously going to take your makeup off. It's a no brainer. Okay. Um, but your skincare cleansers aren't always meant to be like just used for makeup. <laughs> Like they have a whole other purpose. And the one that I use is really gentle. It's for sensitive skin. It's very healing. I love it. But so I like to take my makeup off with this and then let my, you know, my cleanser actually do what it's supposed to do. But that's just one whole side of my face. <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? And then I'll flip this over and put some eye face cleanser on this side. I feel like I should probably do my lips first. These are a, I definitely have to use a makeup cleanser um, for my lips because I use a lot of liquid matte lipsticks. And if you're familiar with those from pharmacy, they will not come off, which is a good thing, but I like to, you know, use a, a good makeup remover and this is, um, it'll remove waterproof makeup as well. So any makeup that is just, you know, staying in place, this will, this will get it off. I like just kind of dab it around my eye, let it kind of soak into everything and then pull it out and voila, <laughs> just like that. always sometimes there's a little bit of mascara that's just kind of like hanging around but I'm not really too worried about that because it's off of where it should be that is that and now I'm going to um I'm gonna walk you through my actual nighttime regimen but first I'm going to wash my face real quick Okay, for my nighttime skincare regimen, I have a couple different things that I'll do. Normally, I just use a resurface serum and a night cream. So both of these products have a proprietary blend of retinol and vitamin C. And I'm like, they're so, so, so good. The whole resurface line is geared towards women or men who are at least 35 age and older. Um, I'm a few years from there, but I just... You know, I didn't take care of my skin in my early 20s, so I felt like, why not get a head start? However, um, the other thing that I'll do if I don't use those two is every now and then I will use something different, and I'm going to show you. So, I don't want to seem vain, but my birthday is Sunday, and there's like maybe barely a little dot that you might be able to see right there. That was a lot bigger earlier this week. It was turning into a breakout. Like, it hurt. And I was like, um, no, thank you. Because I don't know if you've been following me for a while. On Mother's Day weekend, I had the biggest breakout on my face. Like, I, like it should have been, <laughs> like, it should have been looked at by a doctor. It was so big. That's just me being dramatic. Um, because I'm not used to having breakouts. So, what I've been doing ever since I noticed that bump, like, it was coming pretty rapid, rapidly, too. I'll take this calendula balm. That calendula is actually the same cleanser that I use too because calendula is very healing. Um, it's good for sensitive skin. It is moisturizing, calming, all the good stuff. And ever since I started using it, like this just keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It doesn't even feel like right now. It just kind of feels like a little random bump. It doesn't feel like a breakout. So I'm pretty excited just because Sunday is my birthday and I'm trying to keep that at bay, I figured I might as well use my calendula balm at night. Um, it's obviously very thick. A little goes a long way, but at nighttime I get carried away and I love the extra moisture. So bring on the shine. Um, the other thing that I'm going to show you, I just got this in the mail. Actually, if you watched my video yesterday morning, I unboxed this with you. It's the new limited edition. So if you want one of these, they've already sold out once. 
um, and they're limited edition. So typically when something sells out once as a limited item and they bring it back, once it's gone, they won't bring it back again because again, it's limited. Um, however, you need these, okay? This is a little vitamin D lip balm. This is the aloe. It comes in aloe, orange, red fruit, which is more of strawberry, or what was the other? Um, what was it? Aloe, orange, maybe there's blueberry. There might be a blueberry, um, but they're now on my site. But holy moly, I put extra on just because I rubbed it around my lips too. Like I will let that sink into my skin all night. They feel so good. And because it has so much vitamin D in it and it comes in this cute little tube or tin, um, you could easily, if you've got like really dry elbows, you could easily rub that there. Like you need to have these in your purse. You can buy them individually in a four pack, whatever you want, but you need at least two. They're only 12 bucks. So go grab one and thank me later.